If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. This is a view of the city, but now we're heading back out. <laughs> beautiful people today is february 27 2024 and it is 1 50 in the afternoon i just got to the office because tonight is the vegetal poetry night that i've been planning for the last two months and so i came to campus just a little bit later since i'm going to be finishing at 7 30 i'm probably gonna get home around like 9 p.m so i didn't want to spend all my day here so in the morning i stayed home i took a relaxed morning with my husband he worked from home and we took Kenzo out for a nice walk and stuff like that and around noon i just headed here to campus because i had to stop by the grocery store to get some snacks and drinks for the event and so everything is good now um everything like i'm so surprised it's kind of scary that everything's like kind of running smooth so all i have to do now is just um upload my papers for tonight or the schedule for tonight onto the library like printing page so i can go downstairs to the printers and just print out the agenda so i can have a copy and then my colleague can have a copy because he's gonna help me co-host we're both gonna do it together so um yeah i'm really excited everything seems to be like i said going very well so it's uh, it's like you know when things are so like calm and quiet you get a little bit like suspicious because you don't know if everything's actually like under control so yeah so what i'm gonna do now is like i said upload those papers go downstairs print them and then i'm gonna come back up and i'm gonna read i just um i reserved today like this whole afternoon uh to read my colleagues who are helping me with the event they all have a seminar until 5 30 so i asked them to meet me here once their seminar is done because the event starts at 6 p.m so like i said there's not much going on today so let's go do the printing stuff come back read and then hopefully i can show you guys a little bit of tonight's event oh and before i before i close all of this down um or stop talking to you guys through the camera um my little sister got into university Yay! so i'm really happy for her and really proud of her um she is like the first in her family to go from high school to university so yay i'm really proud of her and i can't wait to have her here at the university next year um but yeah so let's let's go to work <laughs> Today is February 29, 2024. It is a leap year. So that's pretty cool. It's an extra day we have in the year. Today is going to be a busy but very slow day. My stomach is rumbling this morning. So if you hear it through the camera, I am so sorry. I am a little bit hungry because yesterday I barely ate. So I think I'm gonna have some little snacks right now, but um, I arrived to campus pretty early today 
it's so cold so yesterday we were a high of like 14 and then this morning we woke up to minus 24 and so i couldn't even do my little video of like the building because my hands were just like freezing and i didn't realize how cold it would be today good thing is that i brought a sweater and my winter jacket which is like hanging over there um but yeah so this week is socio anthro week and we have as part of like the ma phd project that i've been talking to you all about we are showcasing some podcasts at the lobby downstairs so today is my day to help them out and tomorrow so i'm going to be there from 11 to 2 p.m and the same thing tomorrow uh, but right now it's 9 30 so i'm gonna get some readings done until i have to go downstairs to meet with the group um but yeah not much is going on um i got earrings over the weekend that i was gonna be wearing to my poetry night that happened on tuesday which was a success um the room got full and yeah it was just a really good event so i'm really happy how it went the stress was definitely worth it um but i got the earrings to wear on that night and of course i forgot them at home so now I'm wearing them, but I haven't worn earrings in almost, when did I lose my earrings? I lost my earrings in the summer, and then after that I didn't buy any more earrings and stuff like that. Um, well, I thrifted a pair, but I only wear it once, and then I thrifted these as well. These are brass, which was a really cool find because I have very sensible ears. Um, so I'm not going to get any allergic reaction, but because I haven't worn um, earrings for a while, this ear here healed. This one here, not so much, but um, I definitely feel like, you know, once you repair like your ear, like the little pulse thing. So I hope it doesn't get so uncomfortable in the day, but if anything, I'll just like remove the earrings, right? Um, but yeah, so there's a few things going on. Um, my phone is a 20% battery because I forgot to charge it overnight. I do have my charger here, but I forgot the um, the adapter for it, so I can't charge my phone right now, but I will do it later when I see my colleagues because I'm pretty sure they'll have an adapter. Um, but um, yeah, uh, this week has been, like I said, pretty stressful, but pretty easy going. Uh, but now I have to really shift gears and put my whole self into my work. So I found a few books that I want to get through hopefully um, for the next few days. Like I'm really going to be like just reading like nonstop because I was invited by a professor that found me um, on campus to a three-day conference that she's organizing for an undergrad class she's teaching and so they're exploring like climate change and things like that and she is hosting a three day conference which is like 1.5 credits for them or something like that but essentially like the first day it's going to be like presentations of people she invited then the second day students are going to have like a workshop and then on the third day um, students are going to be presenting like their best solution for climate change and so the professor invited me to be a guest speaker and she also invited me to be a judge um, for the panel for the projects that the students are going to be presenting. So I'm really happy and excited for that because this professor introduced me to another professor that is actually well she's not currently doing research on trees but she has done some research on trees in the region so um i looked her up and read a few of her articles and it seems like it's like right up what i wanted to research so this is really like really great connections that i'm making but um for the presentation i'll have to talk about my phd project which is you know uh related to climate change um, but I haven't really <clears throat> written anything in like since January like in December I sent the seminar I was taking really pushed me to like read and stuff like that and I presented a potential project and the professor loved it and he even became part of my committee um, so I don't know if I want to present that or if I want to just rework it a bit more with everything that I've been reading on urban anthropology and urban forest and just like tailor it down 
um so i have to figure that out but i'm reading right now a book called urban forest trees and green spaces a political political ecology perspective by l anders sandberg and um it came out i think in 2015 but it's a really great book so far um it's really introducing me to how communities understand trees but also how policymakers and um cities and stuff like that approach uh reforcing urban spaces so i don't think um i'll read like the whole book because it is a 300 page book but i will read some of like the um articles there and then i found another really cool well i didn't find but my supervisor um shared a uh, magazine that just came out like a special edition just last year spring and summer of 2022 it's a, a magazine i think it's from france or from europe but it's in french it's called uh philosophy magazine and um the the special issue name is vivre et penser comme un arbre philosophie du monde végétal so um it explores uh trees and it invited quite a few scholars that i've already like read um, one of them being Suzanne Simard, who I read as you guys, I don't know if I talked to you guys about it, but in one of my videos, I know that I, I was reading that book, um, but she gave me so much to think about and with, because, um, like I said, I'm part of Plantherope Lab. This is a lab that I help my supervisor develop and um, through participating in the lab and stuff like that, I've been exposed to like um, critical plant studies and just philosophers and other anthropologists, sociologists that are working with plants and um, and and so they have helped me, you know, approach plants differently and the vegetal world differently and understand them differently. So I'm still pretty like new to all these theories and all these approaches, but. Um, I've also been exposed to it so I'm just trying to like find my way through it and find my place in in these conversations that are ongoing um, but yeah so I have those two things that are on like my top reading list and then I made another few short reading lists like I actually made or finished my reading list for the next few weeks which I will share probably in a different video um, because it's a little bit long and I kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit more about it and about my research because I know I'm just talking here and there about it um, without actually sitting down and talking to you all about how my first my research or my academic journey and second uh, my current research so um, that is coming up be patient with me please I'm just balancing a lot of things at the same time and um yeah i'll see how things go this week because there's another thing i want to talk to you guys about relating to uh group projects and being a professional and professional development that i think is really important to talk about um but yeah hopefully that all comes in the next few weeks but right now um like i said last week was reading week i took the last little break that i could by absolutely doing nothing but now it's just uh shifting gears and really going all out because um if things go according to plan or as things are manifesting themselves um this summer is going to be busy and so i'm going to need it I, I need to get my things going um so that's 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 all that I have to share so far right now with you guys. So I'm going to read for a bit. I'm going to read for an hour. Well, an hour and 20 minutes. And then I'm going to head down downstairs um, to help out my colleagues with uh, the projection of the podcast. And then I'll see if I can uh, show you guys a little bit or if I catch up with you guys later. I'm not sure if my husband's going to come get me today because he is like working pretty late he has quite a few uh, meetings um so i might pass back home but i don't know um we'll see uh, but i might also profit from just waiting for him to continue reading um and then he can come pick me up last night i made us um 
rib tacos they were so delicious so i worked from home yesterday so that's why you won't see like clips from yesterday just a little bit um but yeah so uh <laughs> i made rib tacos like at night and then i miscalculated like the tortillas and i made more for like my husband and less for me but i didn't eat much in the daytime because i was just I guess I was so stressed from like the night before, like the poetry night on Tuesday, that yesterday, Wednesday, I just really wanted to relax and we went to the gym in the morning. So I feel like just all of that kind of piled up and then this morning, like <laughs> nonstop, my like stomach has been growling. I have some coffee here with me, um, but we did get some snacks for the poetry night that um, we didn't finish, so I have like a bag of like, well not a bag, a few mandarins in front of me um, that I need to eat that we got for the event, <laughs> um, but also the office is quite a mess, not this side, but my side is quite a mess, I'm going to show you guys because we're probably going to clean it up um, and then we're going to also water the plants and maybe repot some, I don't know, oh, now I'm like okay so we have plants right here i have my plants let me show you guys i brought these plants with me to the event but um and yes my hair straightener is there because i was straightening my hair but i was waiting for it to um cool off but we brought the uh, plants to the poetry night for decoration and um <laughs> and one of my colleagues kept dropping this one and so now i have to like we have soil here so i have to repot them but i think what i'll do is it's 9 43 reina so quickly do the plants um just wipe down the desk and everything because everybody's been like in and out of the office all week because it's supposed to be on for a week right and even like on the other side my colleague's desk is uh, she has a few things in there, but um, I'm not going to touch it because it's her thing. Um, but I'm definitely going to clean like this area right here. And probably just, um, we don't, I, I want to get like a little broom for here because it's like not dirty. But, you know, like you can definitely feel like some of the dust on the floor. Um, or maybe if I find like one of the cleaners, I'll be like, can I use your broom quickly? Um, but anyways, let's do the plants and then whatever time is remaining we'll read until we have to go downstairs i'm i'm in this floor so all i have to do literally is just show up downstairs so i can do that in like two minutes um so yeah let's get going because now i'm talking way too much <laughs> so this is how my side of the office is looking it's looking a little bit crusty musty so i'm just gonna wipe everything down because even like the cubbies are a little crusty and musty so um, first we're going to do the plants. I'm just going to water them and kind of fix the soil. So we have some soil over here, right there. And then we also have some soil over there that I brought. Um, but yeah, we'll do the plants first. Then we'll wipe everything down. And then we're also going to fix in here because I have some drinks from the event on Tuesday. And uh, I also want to put that box in there. That's all of like the um, snacks we got. So that's all like the leftovers of all the things. So I want to put that in there as well so my colleagues can easily access them. So um, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> So 
um the podcast like thing ended at 2 30 and then i just helped my colleague bring the chairs and stuff up and then that was it so i just came back but i haven't eaten anything i didn't even eat in the morning um so i'm just taking some of the snacks we have from the event that just happened i'm drinking a pineapple coconut spring water sparkling water um some goldfish and i'm also gonna have some fruit stations um but the event went good i realized that i know a lot of people on campus and so that was good because they came to check out what we were doing and so that made me feel good um but now uh my husband just sent me a message and told me he is going he's on his last meeting so when he's done he can come pick me up so i said okay um let's do that and so he's gonna come pick me up um but yeah so my phone died um so i couldn't show you guys how i cleaned the office but i cleaned it and wiped it all down with like lysol so it smells like really nice right now and it's super clean so i'll give you guys a little tour after so while i wait for my husband i'm just gonna continue reading my book it's not like a heavy read and stuff like that and i'm getting through it pretty quickly way faster than i thought i would um so i'm already on chapter three and then um yeah i'm just gonna continue reading and like i'm not taking a lot of notes because i'm not reading to like take notes right now i'm reading to get acquainted with the literature and stuff so um i decided that i'm going to be taking my handwritten notes in these little notepads that my husband can get from his work and um, it just makes things like easier to write well it makes it easier to write because there's no like book and stuff like that and at the end of the day i'll take a picture of them and save it or retype them um and yeah and so i'm just literally sketching some of the main ideas so the first two chapters i read were more about um socioeconomic influences about reforesting like the city and so um i just wrote that you know forestry has been seen as like mostly a technical and masculine profession trees cost money the planting the maintenance and then the grants are prominently given by governments and then there's this um thing that came up and that i kind of want to look into because i've been making lines with this for a while but i just like i said i'm i'm just acquainting myself with the literature right so i, I don't know too much but there's this like volunteerism aspect to planting trees and so i'm gonna look more into that and then obviously um and lastly economic disparities and so i just wrote you know that the health the wealthy who have money can plant trees and determine where to plant them because of private property whereas like um people who don't have that much money or um who are poor most often just have rental homes the space on my phone was full so i had to <laughs> i had to delete some things but what i was trying to say was that there's definitely economic disparities between people who own private property and can afford planting trees and people who cannot and then there's obviously like debates relating to um what communities get to be greener and it, and it relates to like human health and stuff like that and so that's not really like my my interest but it's again it's really good to know about and so i'm just like i said i'm just jotting notes like that i'm not like taking definitions or anything down because that's not my interest my interest is just to get through the material so i can have better understanding and then from there you know build build um my understanding but yeah, so I'm gonna continue reading. The third chapter is um, called From Government to Governance, Contribution to the Political Ecology of Urban Forestry by Cecile C. Coney Jean Van de Bosch. I probably did not say that properly, but um, I'll write the name here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the office first then i'm going to continue reading and then we'll head home so let me show you how nice the office is looking
so that's my colleague's stuff but um i put some of the plants up here and i wiped down all of the um cubbies for all the office so you'll see the little like lysol um like streaks but that's how i store the little plants and then i repotted a few more plants as you will see in the videos because the spider plant we have is just having so many babies um, but I put one there as well and then that's our other plant over there and um, I just filled up the little bowl with some of the snacks from the poetry night um, this is just like my corner where I put my bag and those are just some posters we have in extra soil and then up here some more books um, but I did fix our food cubbies so let me show you guys so this is how it's looking, so much more organized. I put the extra drinks from the event there. All of our mugs here, the coffees. My colleagues really need to throw this out, but I'm not gonna do it for them because it's theirs. Um, then all of our snacks are in here, coffee, tea, and yeah. So the office smells so nice and clean now. today is march 1st we are in a new month it is so crazy how time is just going by and i know that march is also just gonna go by so quickly um because i literally have something like every day well not every day but every week i have a presentation and so your girl just needs to hit the books really hard this month and focus on her health so i'm going to do my march planning right now it's 10 a.m and uh i have to go down to meet my colleague at 11 so we can do the podcast thing up until 2 p.m i'm not sure if i'm gonna end up going to the class to ta or if i'm just gonna head home or if i'm gonna go to one of the last events of socio on the week which i think i should go to because um some students came to my activity and it was a success and stuff and so today they're gonna have the last activity is like jeopardy night and they're gonna have pizza and stuff and so it's gonna be the graduates and the undergrads and it's um organized by the student association so i went last year and it was fun um it was entertaining and stuff and so um i'm thinking of maybe going today it's from three to six i believe and so um i might go there instead of going to the class i'm TAing. um but we'll see um since it's going to be like a super busy day today whenever i have the chance i'm just gonna continue reading the book that i've been reading on urban forest i'm on chapter four i was able to read another chapter yesterday well now i'm at a chapter five to start reading um so i'm doing really great progress with that book hopefully i can finish it this weekend and then i can start my other books next week and then next week i really hope to get two books read and a few articles so we'll see how that goes um but yeah i'm really shifting gears now you know for the last two months it was just getting out of like the post candidacy like examination stress and anxiety and everything and so you know ever since i became like a candidate i've um i've been treated differently by my family by my friends <laughs> by my colleagues by everyone and so i'm also dealing with that and like i've said in previous videos this is not like a um imposter syndrome i went through that in my masters this is just more of a okay like i'm here this is how people are now gonna view, view me and i i have to like 
present myself in the best way possible right so that's why like i also want to focus more on like professional development on this channel because i think both go in hand so um as i'm learning new skills and new techniques and new methods i also want to share that with you all um especially when it comes to dealing with um group projects or with supervisors or research committees and things like that and hopefully next week i can talk a little bit more in depth about that because i've been going through a few things and so i just want to share everything but at its time because like i mentioned in some of my other videos i'm also one a person that doesn't like to jump into conclusions right away or that likes to take decisions like very uh, spontaneously like i'm a very spontaneous person in the sense that i like to go out i like to you know do things but in terms of like t making life decisions i really like to think about it before i make like a decision so um like i said right now i'm just gonna quickly do my march schedule and then um after that i'm gonna go meet up with my peers head down there and then that's it so today there might be not much reading done but if i can get my um calendar set for the month i'm gonna be just ahead of the game and so um let's get started because time is limited today um and then yeah this month is also my birthday month so last year i had like a really great opportunity during the week of my birthday and i was gonna go celebrate with some of my peers and then i got covid and you, you i think you all know what happened there because i think i made a video like i think i made videos right before like i disappeared for the spring and summer um but this year i'm not disappearing because there's so much that's gonna be going on that i want to be able to record and to share so um yeah less talking more doing so let's get to it also just be <laughs> just before we continue i wanted to say that oh, no this was clean this morning and we not have to go wash it but i wanted to say that um i thrifted this vest it's a T tommy F hill figure vest um i got it at the thrift and i'm just like trying to elevate my looks <laughs> Um, I feel like I was so out of like fashion and things like that for like three years and then this year like at the beginning of the year <laughs> I was showing up to class with like my hoodies and my t-shirts and just being me but then all of my colleagues were like elevating their look and they're all male too so I kind of felt like I should elevate my look too because they were all coming in with like nice dress shirts and stuff and i was coming in with like tie-dye hoodies so um yeah i'm trying to elevate my look a little bit more and also since now like professors know me and stuff like that i definitely want to be taken seriously so i'm trying this new look with like little vest um but it's a shame that i just dirtied this and it's lipstick because it's it's literally my lipstick anyways um let's let's get planning and i'll probably clean that before i head down the stairs because i don't want to be like hey you want to come see our podcast and there's like steam in my sweater okay let's go let's go so i'm back at the office um so the showcase of the podcast went well um, we were there until 2.30 and then it's crazy because like at the end like our last 40 minutes we had the most people come by to check out the podcast which is fine and stuff and it made us happy but like most of the day there was like nobody um, but since we did finish at 2.30 um, I was like oh I don't want to be late to the class at ITA and it's not mandatory for me to attend the lectures but obviously it's always like preferable right um, but not a big big deal because the students are just doing their um, their presentations right now and so um, after <laughs> it was so funny after we like picked everything up from like being at the lobby and stuff like that 
one other um student who's part of he's an undergrad but he's part of the student association he's like oh we're gonna have um this like little bit event which is like your thesis in under like a minute so essentially it's like an elevator pitch and it's a competition right and there's like three prices and he's like there's gonna be pizza and me and my other colleague we have not eaten all day right like <laughs> we've been downstairs and we didn't eat or bring food with us and um we were like okay let's like let's put everything away and then we'll go eat pizza at the event right and when we arrived at the event there was no pizza they lied to us but given that they were doing like the competition i um i i don't know i don't know what got into me that i built a courage to just like elevator pitch my uh my research project and i didn't win um but i saw a few professors like approve of it and um i got like applauded for it so i guess it's it's a good thing as well um but uh yeah and all they had was free coffee so i got myself a coffee and right now um i was eating this mandarin the last mandarin from our event and i'm also gonna have a rice crispy so um it is 3 45 right now and right now is around the time that everyone gets like off school and off work and my husband worked from home today and so i'm not gonna make him like come pick me up because we live uh, a little bit far from campus and in traffic i just don't want him to lose like his time right so um and it's way faster to take like the public transport at this time um when he works it's different but um anyways all this to say that i am gonna bus back home but i didn't want to bus right away because um i just don't want to be like in that like moment where everyone's like in and out of like school and work and it's just overcrowded um so i um i decided to just <laughs> um take a little breather here because i've just been like extremely social all day and i'm a little bit of an introvert so um i just need like a little peace and quiet time so i can recharge my energies um but yeah i'm uh, i'm uploading the video from reading week right now and uh hopefully i can get the editing of this week done this weekend so i can upload this video on monday but we'll see um i have lots on my to-do list <laughs> so editing right now is taking a little bit of the background but i've been very good at like keeping keeping up with um with editing my weeks and stuff like that and like to the week before reading week it took me like an extra week to publish the video because i was just like really tired and yeah it's just that's how life is sometimes <laughs> um but right now like i said i'm uploading that video once it's done uploading I'm going to head home. Um, I'm also just doing some like small administrative things that are on my to-do list. Um, but then after that, we're gonna head home, and at home we're gonna eat some delicious food. My husband, I think, is making pasta for us tonight, so should be good. But uh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> we got there, and we're like where's the pizza like they told us there was gonna be pizza here so then i told my colleague i'm like if i win he's like you're gonna go like up and like you know um do your 30 second elevator pitch or one minute and i was like yeah i'm gonna try it. it's money right i'm like if i win i'll buy us like a nice like dinner but i didn't win so i didn't get it and i felt like it was really unfair because all the judges were sociology like profs so they only selected like sociology students that won. I mean, I don't want to say anything, but no anthropologists won anything. So anyways, I'm happy that this week is done. It's been kind of stressful. Like I said, I'm probably going to talk to you guys more about it next week because I've just learned a lot of lessons this week. So yeah that's it that's it for today now i'm just rambling so thank you very much for joining me one more week and i'll see you in the next one bye